I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and in another video recently I showed how I've been using a wireless sensing system from Monit in order to track um, various things around my house. So I had a door sensor, and in my last video I demonstrated an outside temperature sensor. So basically with Monit you position these little sensors around your house, and you have a um, router that then relays data from them wirelessly to Monit's servers. And it's actually designed for industrial sensing in a facility or something like that, but I've repurposed it as a home automation sensing system. So what does the data actually look like from something like my outside temperature sensor? Well, here's the readout on Monit's website. So you can see they have a little representation of the sensor that I had in my other video. Um, I can name it, so I've called it outside temperature. It's giving me the current reading, 63 degrees, the time, the signal strength, and then here the battery level. And you can see I actually need to change that battery. It's only at 19 out of 100. And then down here I can select a date range and I get all of the raw data coming out of that. You can see it's taking a temperature reading once every 10 minutes at the moment. And you can scroll back and see you know, the entire history. It was over 100 degrees one day, wow, 106. Um, so I can scroll through and see all of that information. I can also pull up a nice chart of that information. So I can see you know, different time periods and that nice kind of sine wave of it getting hot during the day and then cooling off at night for the last several days. Um, I can also see the sort of zoomed in information here. And I can even select a period of data to see in more detail. So if I want to see a full day's change in temperature and then go around and look at the different values here. It gets hot in California. Um, I can also export all of this data from the sensor to a CSV file if I want to do some analysis. And in another video, I'll show how I can actually automatically pull that data into my home automation system. And then finally, there's some basic functions I can calibrate and I can change the scale and that kind of thing. But really, I think where the most interesting data comes in is from this history, chart, and export tabs. So that's how the Monit wireless sensing system works and sends data in um, from that outside temperature sensor. And again, in a future video, I'll show a little more about how I use that data.